I'm going to do one more demo before we jump over to, to David here. So let me come back over to here. And this time I'm going to, I'm going to turn off the 705. I'm going to take my little uh, antenna here. And now I'm going to disconnect all the cables altogether. So I have... I have no cables connected to my surface. This is just the uh, the video signal so that you're able to see that. And I'm going to do the Kenwood D710G. Now, this works the same on the 710G or the, the D74 as it does as the new uh, D75. So this radio is one. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Uh, this was the first radio as my old uh, my old call sign as it uh, just kind of quickly went over the uh, over the screen there. This was the first handheld that I purchased when I got my my license. And you might be thinking like, why would you buy such a high-end radio to get started? Well, I looked at all the specs and I was like, this has pretty much everything. And it's been amazing radio to be able to use all this time. So I'm going to connect, I'm going to do some packet now completely wirelessly. So I'm going to do this via Bluetooth. So if I go into the menu here and I go down and over, let me actually zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the screen. Uh, a little bit better on this. Zoom in. So I mentioned that when you're doing um, many of these radios, you need to go in and make sure that your settings are all set to the correct thing. So if I come down here and I find the interface options, I can see now that my USB function, I'm not going to use the USB port on here, but my PC out for the GPS, my APRS, and really this is the most important one, the KISS port is set to Bluetooth. So all of my TNC, the built-in TNC is being routed through the Bluetooth connection on this radio. Um, I've also set the DVR also to uh, to Bluetooth. So I'm going to go back from that and I'm going to go up to the Bluetooth settings. Now, on this, this is this can be really confusing on many of these radios. Um, the Bluetooth stack inside of the Kenwoods is actually a really old version of Bluetooth. And so it's a little tricky to kind of see how this works, but this is what it's doing. What you want to do is first make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. You want to initiate the connection from Windows. So you go into your Bluetooth settings and say connect to a radio. And you're going to go to the pairing mode initially, and you'll establish the pairing. And this, you want to pair as just a regular uh, audio device. Um, so it's it's working kind of like just a little microphone and, and speaker that's on there. Once you get it paired, you'll see it connect, and then it'll drop the connection. And you're like, what the heck is going on? I can't get this connection to work. And that's because the way that this works, what you do is you come down here to... Um, Auto connect, turn your auto connect feature on. Let me go one more past that so it uh, doesn't show on there because it's always at the bottom. So this says auto connect and you want to turn your auto connect on. That way, when you start doing your WinLink session, it'll automatically connect via Bluetooth to the radio. And that's all of the settings that you need to have inside of here. Let me go back out a couple of levels. I'm going to go all the way back out to the main menu. And now we're sitting here on the Kenwood. You need to make sure that you're using your, your data connection on the B side of the radio. So here's my toggle for my AB side. The, the TNC only works on the B side of the radio. So if you're having more trouble, try changing over to the other side of your radio. Now we're here on the B side of the radio. And I need to turn the TNC on. So I press function and the uh, five button. And notice I've got APRS 12 and beacon. It's not the one I want. I press it again, function and five. And now I see KISS 12 that sit up here on the radio. So the radio is sitting here ready to go. I'm going to close this and I'm going to switch back over to my surface. And this time, instead of connecting via VARA, we're going to do this via packet. So I'm going to close that window and that closes all that. I'm going to click the drop down here. I'm going to change it to packet when link open session, and all of my settings are actually set up in here. If I go into the settings section, you can see that I've got the packet TNC set to the KISS port. Um, and with that, I've got the correct COM port set. I know the serial port baud rate for this particular radio is 9,600 baud. 
Um, it's set to normal. I've got this all set down to 1200 baud uh, because I know that KISS 12 means the 1200 baud rate on that. And I'm just going to hit update. So that now I'm actually just going to connect directly from WinLink straight to my to my uh, radio. So let me zoom back out a little bit so you can see both the laptop and the radio all in the same frame once I get this started. And uh, I'm just going to hit start. I've got the frequency set up. And you'll notice if I switch back over here, this just turned on the Bluetooth connection and it established the connection to the radio. It should have anyway. Ah, so sometimes this happens. So initially I hit start, it made the connection over, but notice what happened. My TNC turned off. Once you do that Bluetooth connection, sometimes it'll turn the TNC off. So just hit function uh, five, function five, it turns the TNC back on and now I'll hit start again. And if the demo gods are with me this time, there we go. We're getting the connection. It starts talking to the radio completely wirelessly and it is doing the transmission back and forth. You can see here, it's got that, that connection that's going on. Um, I'll hold this up to the to here so you hopefully can hear that coming out of the audio. Let me say original sound. And look, there's some radio, there's some messages coming in. I'll go ahead and download those and it's gonna download these over packet. As it's coming back and forth. And we obviously don't have to sit here and watch a packet transmission working uh, in, in real time.